I think we can get it back down soon enough. Alright, next... Next thing we're going to take care of here is... This is going to be kind of interesting, trying to figure this out. Hmm. I think I'm going to go to the security hall next. Might as well take care of this, right? <laughs> so, for security hall, uh, the school requirement for mission one is 12,000. Screw it. Reset. This one's out in the open. That's great. On to the next one. Okay, it looks like it's on the yellow level. Great. Now I gotta whip the yellow switch. <laughs> Honestly, the best sort of... Oh, wow. Okay, that was lucky. That was completely unexpected. The best RNG you can get when it comes to Security Hall in particular. It's gotta be close. The devil? Hurry up, The island is set to blow up. Okay, seriously, where the hell is this thing? Is it moving? As I was trying to say here, as I keep getting distracted over and over again, is the best sort of RNG you can get when it comes to the emeralds here is with the em all three emeralds being out in the open. And you don't have to flip any sort of switches whatsoever. Also, screw you, game. Give me the thing. Thank you. There we go. How Redeemed. Perfect? Like me? Okay. Next, mission two. Collect 100 rings. Now, when it comes to the treasure hunting stages, their 100 ring missions are rather unique. And there's also a pretty... There's also a really worthwhile strategy worth utilizing. And that is... Grab a single ring, get hit by an enemy intentionally, so that way the back ring appears. Upon hitting the back ring, you'll reload the entire stage, but you'll keep your current ring count. Honestly, when it comes to uh, the treasure hunting stages in general, you definitely want to utilize this strategy like all the time. Especially when you're trying to find clumps of rings and finding them incredibly quickly. Also, I have not explained the uh, score requirement or the time requirement for Security Hall Mission 2. 100 rings is 4 minutes. <sighs> That's what I get for making a blind jump. Death. By the way, I haven't really mentioned this yet, but Security Hall is one of two stages where you can execute a very interesting glitch that gives you 99 lives almost instantly. It requires a bit of effort, but it is a way you can get a bunch of lives, especially when you get really pissed for RNG. Just saying. You kind of want to do that during a casual playthrough, of course. Speedrunners, they don't got time for that. Just saying, it's an option. To execute the 99 lives glitch, it involves dropping your lives count to zero and falling backwards onto the back ring, dying as a result but getting a bunch of lives in return. Okay. 
Also, upon hitting the back ring, like I've mentioned previously, it will reload the stage and reload all of the rings and things of that nature. So, whatever rings you had in hand, you can uh, carry them with you. Just keep in mind, though, that you can really only utilize the strategy once per run. Otherwise, you'll have to reset if you happen to mess up, which is very easy to do. How is that? Perfect? Like me? Okay. Now for something a lot more difficult when it comes to uh, Security Hall. That is the Lost Chow. The Lost Chow for like Security Hall, you have to complete this within 30 seconds. And it's a lot easier said than done. You gotta haul ass and don't lose track of time. You gotta move, like, immediately. Hmm. I think there is a way you can get up to this uh, chow platform where it is without having to play the Mystic Melody at all. In fact, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so you don't even need the Mystic Melody at all in this instance. What you need is the treasure scope. First off, we just gotta get up here. Pull off the treasure scope. There's a spring. And not screw up like that. All done. I got it! And that's the mission. <laughs> it's only easy once you know what to do. From that point forward, it all comes down to optimization. But, that's that. Now comes hard mode. The score requirement for hard mode for Security Hall like is 16,000. Actually, no. That's the next mission. The one after this one. For the time limit one, we have to get 13,000. So again, we gotta pray we get good RNG and can do this within the time limit. He thought it was strict with five minutes. Try doing it in three and a half. Good luck. Oh, man. I swear, sometimes just... Today is just not one of the... Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Looks like, uh... Well, forget what I just said about bad RNG. At least in this run, it seems like it's going better. Famous last words. Oh my god, how did I miss that? God, that's annoying. Where's the safe? I thought it was a blue safe. I swear to God, it was a blue safe. Maybe it was on the other side. Oh, it's over here. I'm an idiot. Get through. Wow, that was not very good. Useless blank. Seriously, stop nerfing my goddamn jump height. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because I keep getting nerfed. Plus, it's designed by freaking Activision. Oh, there it is. I got it. 
Ugh, that was horrendous. And that's not even enough. Oh wait, yes it is. Never mind. I'm crazy. How is that? Perfect? Like <laughs> God, me? God, kill me. Kidding. Hmm. All right. Now it's time for hard mode. Select when it comes to the treasure hunting stages, hard mode works rather differently. Sure, the stages are rearranged a little bit when it comes to enemies and obstacles, but all three pieces of the Master Emerald, or in the case of Security Hall, all three uh, Chaos Emeralds are all in the same spot, always, for every run. So, once you know where all three Emeralds are, or all three collectibles are that you need to collect, it's all a matter of optimizing your run to get to them. So, you really do not need any hint terminals whatsoever. Unless it's your first time playing through the stage, in which case, read the terminals and you'll be fine. Thankfully, with a uh, hard mode here, we don't need to worry about time limit. Only two more. Also, I'm not 100% sure, but I can't remember if I mentioned this yet or not, but the score requirement for Security Hall... Uh, what? Security Hall's hard mode is 16,000. Okay, the second emerald really isn't that hard to find. It's just grabbing it and getting out in one piece. Okay, this is going to be kind of interesting because what we need to do here for the next emerald and the final one at that is we need to hit the switch. But hitting it is a lot easier said than done. I think there's a hidden spring here. Yep. Now for the final emerald. Damn. I got bad RNG with the barricade. Come on, climb the thing. Let's go. <laughs> the final emerald. You don't need to worry too much about it. But getting to it is a bit of a pain. Get the thing. Let's go. When it comes to this one, you cannot brute force your way through the safe. As cool as that would be, it just doesn't work out. Just saying. Okay, 16,000. Barely got it, but I got it. That was a bit of a pain, but at least the deed is done. On to the next one. Select After a quick trip to the Chow Garden, select the character. 